money was collected, but us hardworking parents That's took right. our yeah. money, yeah. raised yeah. money all for four years, right. well over $20,000. Yeah, it was a balance remaining of approximately $9,460. Yeah. We got a bill, our children went to the Jericho Terrace for their prom. Right. With them going to the Jericho Terrace for their prom, the, the purpose of these expenditures for our children is to help them to defray costs on prom, senior class trip, tickets, Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, I remember Mrs. Brazen sitting here and Leonie's mom, I can't remember your name, but I know Leslie. We were called several times to come with the senior class because there were so many issues going on with the senior class advisors, what wasn't right. So I was calling over to the business office trying to find out what was going on. Well, the purpose of me being here tonight, because I don't know if it's so, but I was given a letter that a directive was given by Dr. Garcia. I met with you, Dr. Garcia, and I told you to please take care of this, yes. and I don't believe it was taken care of. Now, if it was, you know, I haven't got anything in the mail, so I'm assuming it was not taken care of. You got a letter from a board member, a senior class advisor board member, that being the president, to state that she gives approval to the senior class of 2012 to have the remaining balance of over $7,000 of our hardworking money and give it to the class of 2012. Now, I have an issue with that, and I'm gonna share with you why. We raise this money. Either we get reimbursed as parents who raise this money, or because you have four different academies, that being the senior class, on campus under Dr. Hill, or the three under Mr. Artillas, Mr. Thomas, and Mr. Evans, that money should be given then to the class of 2011 and 12, be split up. I'm not gonna, I'm sorry, because Ms. Lady had over three minutes. So, let me ask you go ahead. You, I heard you mention the president. You are not talking about No, I'm not referring to you. Just, the class president of 2011. The class president of 2011 wrote a letter because she was contacted by the, the class president. I'm, I'm trying to keep names out of it because I don't think that it's fair okay. to say people's names. I, I just heard the, the president. The, the senior class president of 2011 wrote a letter because she was contacted by the senior class president of 2012 graduating class okay, so that they are having some problems with raising funds, which I understand and I empathize with the children, okay? But decisions are made like this. Now, there are rules so and regulations with senior class advisors of the rules and the regulations as to what they have to do with bank transactions. Let me see if I can... What, what is the question that you're asking? And what no, was I'm getting my point first. Okay? Right. What, what was bank transactions were not made appropriately. Now, I'm not going to go into the district attorney's office or anything of what has been transpiring in the school right now. But this is an issue I feel for the DA's office. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay? This is our money. We raise this. Either we be reimbursed, and it's approximately we would get back about $180.76 each. Okay? Because that's how many kids it was about. 48 of our kids that went on a trip, I figured it out, or, 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 or Mr. Renfro, what normally would happen, no, I'm not going to say, normally what happens is the senior class gives a certain amount of money, Mr. Renfro, I'm almost done. Normally what a senior class does, they give a certain amount of money, maybe $500 or $1,000 to the next class. And then they donate something like a, a football, um, like a, a... I understand, I understand. Yeah, we don't have a concession stand. Every other school in Nassau County and Suffolk County have a concession stand. So now, maybe we need to do that. But we cannot, that $7,000 should not go to the class of 2012. I'm sorry. Do you have a question? One other question. One other question, and then you're going to have to get. To, you're going to have to come back. Who made the decision to to do that with the seven thousand dollars? Dr. Garcia. No, no, Mrs. Yes, yes you did. Okay. No, the president uh, of the yes. class sent a letter. Okay, but okay. Me, and I asked my question at the beginning, and I asked the question at the beginning. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Board member make a decision by themselves. One board member, and the answer was no. That was my purpose to get to this point. No. So if Charles cannot make a decision by himself, although it wasn't him, April cannot do the same thing. So therefore, but at the end of your letter, you wrote Dr. Garcia to the business. Yes, you did. You're, you're, that's not what I'm writing. That's not what I'm writing. No. You gave a directive for Mr. Gannis to turn the money over to the class of 2012. Must I have Christine come bring the letter up here to me right now? Bring the letter. Yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it.
the superintendent authorize the transfer? Yes, she did. Her well, let, me, let me answer the question. Right. Yes, yes or no? The, yes the procedure is yes that or the, no. uh -oh. the class right. have to put something in writing on what they want to do with the money. Right. They have to send something in writing. Right. We receive a letter from the president of the class of 2001. One person. That's not the executive Hold body. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You came back and said to us, let me finish, that April, well, the young lady cannot make, was the only one that made that decision. We put the letter aside. We have the auditors giving us the appropriate policy and procedure on how to handle it. So we put the letter aside. We have the money there. When you came to us and you said, the only one person made this decision. She's the president of the class. She's the one that said that's appropriate for her to send it. Okay. It is correct? I bet She's differ. the president of the class. I beg to differ. I spoke to the claims auditor, Serenian and Associates. Shari Diamond stated that's incorrect. And if you're stating to me, Dr. Garcia, right now, Charles, please. If you're stating to me right now that the claims that Serenian and Associates. Well, no, 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 I didn't say that. No, 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 no you don't know that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. I, would, I didn't say that. What I said is correct, correct for the Hold on. 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 To send a letter detailing what they want to be done with the money, yes or no? She did that. Hold on. What you're saying is that she did that on her own. She did. Hold on. I don't have evidence of that. So what I did was well, hold on. Hold on. You got the letter like what? But she, she's the president of the class. We're the parents who paid the money for that that trip, Mr. Chuck. I can't believe it. The kids didn't do anything you had on the paper, and you never resolved it. You never called us back. No, you we had several me meetings, in June. and we never got the help. She's the only one who did something. Ladies, excuse me, Mr. Ramsey. Doctor Garcia, you called my cell phone last June, excuse me. and I'm still waiting for you to call me back. Excuse you told me that there wasn't enough money. That I promised all of you all that you would get a chance to get on the floor. I promise you that. But we're talking so, about a specific issue. Don't play you, my that That's you okay. It's okay. Involved in. And you want to okay. skip all around. What I would like to do, uh, Miss Fountain and whoever, whomever else is involved in this. She knows. Y'all know. We went upstairs with y'all after a board meeting. Exactly. And this is going on. Everybody and, knows. And we're still waiting. We're still waiting. We met with you guys after a board meeting. Yes. And we're still waiting for you. And, and, and nothing married. was resolved. You had a teacher who took our money. And the kids were not insured on this trip. No. It was a multitude of things that happened. And now you have but, one to dock and all these other kids that you're going to send out of state. On and same, you don't even have... With the same traveling agency, uh, by the way. Me. Oh, excuse me. Unbelievable. Do me a favor. It's a hot mess. Yeah, you sue her. Oh. Sue And you said, right, Dr. Garcia's going to have to answer. But you know what? I was on the order committee at the time, and Dr. Garcia just made a comment. And the thing is, the attorneys was involved with this as well, including Mr. John Shapiro, because I told him in reference to this. So when you just stated, Dr. Garcia, about the auditors, I'm assuming you meant the internal auditors, not the claims auditor. The internal auditors, Ken Serini stated, in their records that you all are not supposed to use student adventure travel again. But you did this year. They're using the same company okay. this year. Who, yes, who we go to Virginia it? Beach. Dr. Yes. Dr. And the senior class advisor is the one who set up the trip again like Miss Rose did last year. No, no, no. Yes, she did. The purchasing agent, Mr. Boxy alone, did not take mess. that trip again. That is illegal. It's in the contract. So when you go back and you ask questions to reference to um, the, um, the attorneys right here, that is not the case. I have it in black and white. They gave you all directives, the internal orders of what you were not supposed to do, including the external orders, and it was not done. So my thing is, you all, you cannot make a directive and say that April, when you said a board member can make a decision. April is one person. It's a five-member board. It takes three votes or a weighted vote. You are wrong to give a directive on our money. Either we get our money back or, or, or else you're only going to have to deal with the consequences, but you have to put the money on hold. That's right. She that is our money. We raised that money. No, no, no. no. Uh, we raised that money last year in the class of 2011. Listen, we're not going to resolve this from the floor. No, we're going to try what, to smash it. What I am saying to you are, uh, Dr. Bussey called me personally and told me that she didn't think the money was there. That's what we get for that. That's, that's what we get for thinking that the job was done because I never heard from you all again until tonight. We didn't even know we had the money. Never heard from you again until tonight. But now you put the money in the account in June. Of Amnesia. Amnesia. So, when I came in, so, I met with you three weeks ago. It's in the extra classroom fund. Yes, yes. So, what's in the 2011? 
classroom, extra classroom activities fund. It may be transferred, expended out of that fund in accordance with the policies. That includes student involvement in the decision of what, how to use it, and a sign off by the, pro, the principal and the, president. That, and the president. So, in terms of the president of that um, that organization, it goes pursuant to their charter. We're, that you're thinking that We're not asking for rationalization. What we want to know is how is it that, excuse me, let me for clarification, how is it that a teacher can take $20,000, put it in her personal bank account, you all get a recommendation hold, hold to on, hold on, Ms. Scale, hold on. and they're not insured because they're not on a district check, yes. and the superintendent knows all of this is not resolved, give that money to, to someone else class. and not address the parents that are asking for it. The money is there. The money is but, you, but they're still using that money. The class of 2012 is using our money. The purpose of that money is to... In Ms. 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 Um, Ms. Ms. Um, Ms. 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 You and Mr. Shapiro and Dr. Mr. Sheehan, you cannot tell me. We're asking you to freeze that money temporarily until you find out. Because the purpose of that money was for us for year for senior class trip, prom, or pictures. That is within the letter that the senior class president of 2012 wrote to the class president of 2011 to help them with their expenditures. But Mrs. Rose, well, the senior class advisor last year was aware they had this balance That was supposed to help me defray my cost. I'm a kid of 2011. To make our um, um, bills um, shorter, but it wasn't decreased. It didn't happen that way. And it's not fair for Dr. Garcia to give a directive to tell the business official, Mr. Garris, that transfer that money to the class of 2012. And nobody's going to tell me today, not even the attorneys, that that is legal, that the money is there in the account. Y'all didn't do anything about it when Ms. Rose had it in her bank account. So did she give the right amount of money to these back to the school it's for our kids? No. Y'all don't even know. Y'all are not abiding by the internal ordinance, Dr. Garcia. Y'all are not listening to their rules and regulations. So don't sit up here and tell me that you are. You're not. I want my $280.76 back. You're not going to give it to anybody else. Or else you all make a concession stand. These kids, as many fundraisers and stuff that we have outside, why should our babies here be embarrassed? They have concession stands at other schools, but you can't just give them $7,000 and then say, oh, well, you don't have to give it to them. Thank you. But you can't just give them $7,000. Thank you. You can't do that. That's illegal. You cannot tell me something's not wrong with that. And I spoke to the district attorney's office, and they said it's not right. And they told me to compile all of my information and bring it. And I'm going to do it. Let me just let me just say this to you, and then, then we have to move on. I will certainly get to the to the bottom of this. Excuse me, Mr. Redford. Let me can I finish? Get her to get to the bottom of it. She's the one who personally well, called me about it, and she is the superintendent. Thank you. Thank you. So is the money going to be frozen? I, I will speak to the attorney. And when are you going to let me know tonight? Or you going to let me know tomorrow morning or by tomorrow closing business? I'll let you know by tomorrow closing business. Okay, so are you going to put it in writing? That's what I want something in writing. Okay, I want something in writing. Officially in writing. Because I think that this is unfair. And I think that this is unfair. Okay, but you also take our money and then the same what you're expecting. I heard you. Y'all are not abiding by what the internal order is saying. At that time, I was supporting the time. I heard you. Okay, I need your phone on this. Thank you.